Hopes for a Gaza ceasefire appeared slim on Sunday as Hamas reiterated its demand for an end to the war in exchange for the freeing of hostages. Meanwhile, the Israeli Prime Minister flatly ruled that out. The two sides blamed each other for the impasse and the Hamas delegation said it would leave Cairo a true stokes to consult with its leadership. However, the Hamas officials plan to return to the Egyptian capital on Tuesday. This is what reports state so far. Mr. Nathan Yahu has hardened his rejection of Hamas demands for an end to the Gaza war in exchange for the freeing of hostages, saying on Sunday that would keep the Palestinian Islamist group in power and pose a threat to Israel. This is what Mr. Nathan Yahu believes. As the Prime Minister of Israel, the one and only Jewish state, I pledge you today from Jerusalem on this Holocaust Remembrance Day if Israel is forced to stand alone, Israel will stand alone. But we know we are not alone because countless decent people around the world support our just cause. And I say to you, we will defeat our genocidal enemies. Never again is now. My colleague Muhammad Ghazali joins us with a live update at the moment. Ghazali has Hamas indicated a comprehensive ceasefire as part of a hostage release deal. The Israeli Prime Minister has said in no uncertain terms that Israel will not accept an end to the campaign and the withdrawal of IDF troops from the Gaza Strip. Yes, uh, if you see the developments in the last 24 hours, there have been multiple reports which are coming out of that region, particularly today's Holocaust Remembrance Day, and we heard Mr. Netanyahu hardening his stance and also very a very relevant statement saying that even if we are alone, we'll continue with the Operation Rafa, we'll get into Rafa and dismantle Hamas completely. And why these uh, statements are coming out of Israel right now? Because uh, reports have also emerged that perhaps uh, with Israel's stubbornness to go ahead with Operation Rafa has not gone, gone down well uh, with the United States and they have also halted shipment of arms and ammunition for a week which was meant for Israel. Meanwhile, uh, yesterday uh, Hamas also attacked Kerem Shalom uh, uh, border region which is which is the border crossing between Israel and Hamas uh, and Gaza Strip thereby hinting that perhaps even uh, Hamas is not in a mood to truce but the reports also suggest that uh, Israel was always going to go ahead with Operation Rafa, which has upset many mediators because Hamas had accepted the proposal with one rider that perhaps ceasefire should also be included in this entire uh, 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 the proposal or the peace talks uh, negotiation going on between Israel and Hamas to Egypt and Qatar and all the negotiators were uh, doing back channel talks but perhaps Israel was not willing to halt the war completely or to say that withdrawal is true from Gaza and that is what Mr. Netanyahu also said and most of the nego negotiating team of the countries like Egypt, Qatar and other leaders have objected to how Mr. Netanyahu has hardened his stance and why he is not uh, willing to stop the war and perhaps that is why uh, this entire negotiation which is happening to halt the war, war has not reached any conclusion and perhaps today is the Holocaust in the Day, Mr. Netanyahu has used it to its help by saying that even if they stand alone, they will continue with Operation Rafael. Till you, since yesterday, aerial attacks in the Rafah area continues, many people have been killed, but all eyes are now on the ground invasion, which has been, uh, which is in the pipeline for so long. As always, Ghazali, thank you so much for joining us with that detailed update.